Hello, my friends. It's uh, Poet WP here again. I'm going to share with you a poem I wrote a long, long time ago in my early 20s. This is one of the ones I used to run around New York City and read in the open mic poetry scene. Uh, whenever I was able to um, visit there and see my friends and do my thing, you know. Love New York. I guess that was probably early 20, 22, 23, something like that. I wrote this a long time ago. It's called Take Into Anything Where You May Find a Home. Normally I read this off the paper, but this, so many, I, I, it's, this is an uncorrected copy and it's, it's a mess. So it's, it's not worth looking at. I'll just read it. <coughs> <clears throat> the slip trapping desires of individuals forgiving their impulses diluted in modern simplicity picking up on all the withdrawn energies that surround you to cast their images of personality upon their determination of your potential in their eyes but when you make them dance them their eyes you knock down all sense of disguise Slowly angling, meandering in with the conclusions of prying open their hearts, catching emotion in the titillating breeze of the moment, which is a moment unto itself, mattering beyond all sense of past experiences. Such admirable companions surmount your surroundings when all is true within yourself. The blessings of acceptance of anything that can be made true in reality. Pick up on all the best angles to level the path of righteous longevity. Now there's a part two to this. This is part two. This is when I, used to, I was experimenting with styles. Part two. An ever-developing canopy of character traits just waiting to jettison out of the foothills of subconscious checkpoints of growth. Master your mind and get lost in trains of thought, not your own. Yours can be hypnotic when focused well and shown. Mesmerize who you can and take them to heights within themselves. Only you can recognize and bring out with complementation of the chi shining so high that it blinds. When you accept yourself fully, the worlds within worlds, the imagination, start bleeding in comfort from sides of yourself never fathomed in casual means of thought. Abandon the spider webs of self-consciousness to fulfill the grandeur of style that just takes you over. Each breath you take, collect your life. Each breath you exhale, dispense your spirit amidst the world. Fate is the systematic probability of how energies are drawn to one another. The drive controls us all until we place our mind in it completely. Or out of it completely. Give and take, inverse, inverse, ex, whatever, however you want it, <laughs> inverse, exverse. To redeem your life in the dissolving of all fears that restrain your soul's capacity for growth and expression. Just toppling over yourself time and time again, only to rise in a stronger state of mind. Life's not that hard to make beautiful. I implore you all to focus on the true chemistry of growth. That was a long one. I had to practice that. I haven't read that poem in 10 years. Just came across it. I was like, mm, read that one. Anyway, hope you like it. See you next time. Take it easy.